Hello those flowers. Welcome back to another informative video and thanks for watching. As you all know, it's always a pleasure presenting to you some interesting but lesser known facts about the beautiful countries on the African continent. In this video, we're excited to present to you some lesser but known facts about the country of Sierra Leone. Officially the Republic of Sierra Leone, informally Salorn, it's a country on the southwest coast of West Africa. It is bordered by Liberia to the southeast and Guinea to the northeast. Sierra Leone has a tropical climate with a diverse environment ranging from savanna to rainforests and a total area of 71,740 square kilometers and a population of 7.9 million people. The capital and largest city is Freetown. 16 ethnic groups inhabit Sierra Leone, each with its own language and customs. The two largest and most influential are the Timne and Mende. The Timne are predominantly found in the northwest of the country and the men in the southeast, comprising a small minority. About 2% of the Creole people were descendants of free African American and West Indian slaves. Used in schools and government administration, Creole, an English-based Creole, is the most widely spoken language across Sierra Leone. Spoken by 98% of the population, Creole unites all the ethnic groups in the country, especially in their trade and social interaction. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. Sierra Leone is a Muslim majority country, 77%, with an influential Christian minority of 22%, and is regarded as one of the most religious tolerant countries in the world. Muslims and Christians collaborate and interact with each other very peacefully, and religious violence is very rare. The majority Christian and Muslim holidays are officially public holidays in the country, including Christmas, Easter, Eid al-Fitr, Eid al -Adha. The current president of Sierra Leone is Julius Madabio. Its currency is the Leon. So without any further ado, here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Sierra Leone. Number 1. The national symbol of freedom is a tree. The cotton tree is a historic symbol in Freetown, the capital of Sierra Leone. According to tradition, former African-American slaves landed on the shoreline and walked up to this giant tree and held the thanksgiving service, praying and singing hymns to thank God for their deliverance to this free land. The settled here, the site of modern Freetown, the palm tree and the rice grain are also the national symbol per excellence. Immortalized in currency, song, and folklore, and valued for their central and staple contribution to everyday life. Different species of palms contribute to cooking oil, thatch roof, fermented wine, soap, fruit, and nuts. Number two, the British sent free slaves here. Freetown is so named for a reason. Land bought from local Timney chiefs in the late 18th century became the home for resettled free slaves from Britain and North America and of free captives taking off sea slave ships on the Atlantic after Britain passed the 1807 abolition of the Slave Trade Act. The island was the final point of departure for many West Africans who have been sold into slavery across the Americas. In 1787, the British sent 400 former slaves to settle in modern-day Freetown. Most of the settlers died though. And then in 1792, the British sent 1,200 former slaves living in Nova Scotia, Canada to settle in Sierra Leone. In 1808, after the abolition of the British slave trade, the British sent more freed slaves to Sierra Leone after liberating them from illegal slave ships. Today, Sierra Leone is made up of descendants of these early settlers and the indigenous tribe of the Mende and Timne people. Number 3. Their history is built into a church. The pews and rafters in St. John's Maroon Church are recycled pieces of history, made from a ship that brought free Jamaican slaves from Nova Scotia, Canada. The church was built in 1820, making it one of Freetown's oldest churches. It still stands there as a reminder of their past and a beacon of hope to the land they have come despite all. Number 4. They suffered through a 10-year civil war. Sierra Leone is among the many African countries that have gone through a civil war. Internal conflicts crippled the country from late 1980s onward, culminating to the brutal civil war that took place from 1991 to 2002. Between 1991 and 2001, war between rival groups competing for control of Sierra Leone left more than 50,000 people dead and the country's infrastructures in pieces. It also displaced more than 2 million people who fled into neighboring countries. In 2001, United Nations forces began disarming rebel soldiers, bringing an end to the war. Since the end of the war, the government of Sierra Leone has undergone the arduous task of rebuilding the country's physical and social infrastructure while fostering reconciliation. Number 5. Diamond puts the country on the map. Although most of the population is engaged in subsistence agriculture, Sierra Leone is also a mining center. Its land yields diamonds, gold, bauxite. This country is one of the top 10 diamond producing nations in the world, earning a lot of foreign currency from minerals. 
Unfortunately, the diamond industry has also been a great source of conflict and pain in Sierra Leone. On February 14, 1972, the country made headlines when the world's third largest gem quality diamond called the Star of Sierra Leone was discovered in Kyodo. Sierra Leone is famous for blood diamonds that were mined and sold during 10 years civil war to raise money for weapons. Number 6. Sierra Leoneans love their radios. Because so many people in Sierra Leone do not know how to read, radios are very popular. About 85% of the people have access to radio and about 72% listen to the radio daily. Number 7. Sierra Leoneans love rice. For almost all Sierra Leoneans, rice is the staple food, consumed at virtually every meal. A Sierra Leonean would often say, without any exaggeration, if I haven't eaten rice today, then I haven't eaten. It is often hard for outsiders to grasp the centrality of rice to daily existence in Sierra Leone. Many people, for example, have over 20 different words to describe rice in its variant forms, such as separate words for sweet rice, pounded rice, and the rice that sticks to the bottom of the pot upon cooking. Don't say you have eaten food unless you have eaten rice. Fruit and eggs for breakfast don't count. They eat rice with plaza leaf based stew cooked with chili, onion and palm oil. Many favor the cassava leaf dish while others like the potato leaf version. Other rice accompaniment includes binge, which is beans, and the national anthem, granot soup so nicknamed because everyone knows it and knows how to cook it. Almost all ceremonial occasions such as weddings, funeral, initiation, and memorial services demands the preparation of large platter of rice distributed to guests until they are full. Number 8. Marriage is a sign of maturity in Sierra Leone. For all Sierra Leoneans, marriage is a mark of adult maturity and brings considerable prestige to the bride and groom. Specific custom varies by ethnic groups and socioeconomic statues. Both usually begins when the man is able to assemble enough bride price, which is often a mixture of money and fine clothes to give to the prospective bride and her family. He may be able to amass this himself, but often he has to ask his father and his father's brother for support. Almost all marriages used to be arranged between families, sometimes while the girl was still quite young. Increasingly, love marriages are more common, especially among those who have been to school. Number 9. Friday is Africana Day when you wear your finest African print. Malama Thomas twin named after the wealthy Creole mission who built a grand home there to buy wax print, lace, damask and more in every who pattern and shima imaginable is a market where a lot of African prints are sold. Most sellers, especially women, carry the same inventory, but it's the buyer staying power in the haggling game that determines where the sale is made. Once you have chosen a fabric, you need a tailor to make a dress for you, and for that, you can find them all over the city. Once you have your outfit in African print, you are ready to be part of the in crowd on what is known as Africanas Friday, when almost everyone wears their finest African trait to work or to mask. It is such a beautiful sight to behold as all those fabrics in the glory of all its colors are seen in town. Number 10. Sierra Leone has the largest natural harbor in Africa. The country owes its name to the 15th century Portuguese explorer Pedro de Sintra, the first European to sight and map Freetown Harbor. The original Portuguese name Sierra Leone, Lion's Mountain, referred to a range of hills that surrounds the harbor. The capital Freetown commands one of the world's largest natural harbors and it's also the largest natural harbor on the African continent. It is capable of receiving ocean-going vessels of all kinds. Part of Freetown, Sierra Leone has modernized its port facilities and made it one of the best on the African continent and has long played an important economic role in the country. Since the end of the war, the government of Sierra Leone has undergone the arduous task of rebuilding the country back to its feet. So there you have it explorers. Those were the top things you probably didn't know about Sierra Leone. We hope you learned a thing or two about the beautiful nation Sierra Leone. Thanks for watching this video and as usual you can add more interesting facts about Sierra Leone that were not mentioned in this video and the best comment will be pinned. Also, if you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.